While I can't say that I've tested every single watercolor sketchbook there is, I have used quite a few of them enough over the years to have three good watercolor sketchbook recommendations for you in this video. So you would think that a watercolor sketchbook is a watercolor sketchbook, that all sketchbooks labeled for watercolor or wet media would work for watercolors. And they do, but if you're here watching this video, it's likely that you've come to the realization that not all watercolor sketchbooks are created equal. In fact, there isn't even one best watercolor sketchbook to rule them all. I can't with a clear conscience tell you that. I couldn't even title this the best watercolor sketchbook because I don't think there will ever be one best sketchbook. What I have learned over time is that I've found a few watercolor sketchbooks that are appropriate for different purposes, mediums, and techniques. And that's what I'm gonna be sharing with you here today. But before I dive into each of the sketchbooks that I like, I want to preface this by saying that the three recommended sketchbooks that I'm sharing here with you all fall within a similar price point. So I wouldn't say that they're the most budget friendly because you can find less expensive sketchbooks which will accept watercolor medium just fine. But if you've been there and done that and you're looking for something better, then the following recommendations in this video should hopefully be helpful. So first up, we have the Stillman and Byrne Beta Sketchbooks. Stillman and Byrne Sketchbooks are great quality in general, but I personally have only used the Beta series with watercolor work, so I can only speak to this one. But I can say that the pages take watercolor and wet media really well because the pages are really thick and they're smooth. So this is like the texture of, I would say, more like hot press paper, except this is not 100% cotton. It is formulated for mixed media. So when I use watercolor on this sketchbook, it actually doesn't spread and bloom and do those nice watercolor effects the same way that um, you would expect if you were painting on 100% cotton cold press paper, for example. And um, otherwise though, it it's really nice because it's smooth. It has um, the ability to have really nice ink lines because there's no skipping over the texture of the paper. Um, it does dry media really well and I really like it for sketch journaling and I like it for ink and wash where I've, I'm doing wash alongside ink lines. I like it for gouache as well. Gouache works really well on here. Let me see if I can find a page with the gouache showing for you. Here's the gouache page. So gouache works really well on here because of the thickness and it can really hold that thicker media. And the other thing is that I don't really notice the difference between the front and the back sides of the paper. So you know they kind of um, feel the same when I use them. So there's not a difference between front and back. And um, of course there is no, as you're, you're looking at this, you're, there's no elastic band closure to keep the book closed so it's going to you know open up after you use it and it doesn't quite lay flat at the beginning so if you're going to be using it you have to kind of bend the spine back a little bit just to get it to lay flat and if you're wanting to see a full flip through of this Stillman and Burn Beta I will link it here for you so you can watch it. Next up we have the Pentallic Aqua Journal. So this is the sketchbook that I've repurchased the most number of times in numerous formats and sizes. So you can see I have a square here and here's a landscape that I will typically get. And all around this has really the best ability to work with both ink lines and watercolor at the same time. The paper has a light texture to it and you can see that, like I said, it, it allows for this watercolor effect to really show through, but you can also use ink lines on it and the ink lines don't really skip a lot and so you can write and you can also draw without you know having all of that texture the one thing that I will note here is that I noticed the difference between the back side and the front side of the paper so the watercolor it kind of lays down differently depending on what side of the page you're using so just keep that in mind if you're using this sketchbook the watercolor will warp the pages if you're painting very wet, just like any other paper, so that's very, very typical. But it is really great for getting those nice watercolor effects. It has a elastic band closure, so it'll keep the book closed for you if you're not using it. It also has a really nice, convenient brush holder here that's made of elastic, and it also has a pocket in the back for slipping in any papers or small items. So I really do think this is a great travel sketchbook if you're going to bring something to travel with. Just note that this is not 100% cotton paper, um, similar to the Stillman and Burn, and so it's not going to be archival in that sense. Um, but 
I think generally performs really, really nicely. And I do love it for loose ink and wash paintings, like I said, using it as a travel sketchbook, and like watercolor studies that, um, you know, I maybe want to practice or try something out. I like to think of these as my practice sketchbooks, which is probably why I have so many of them. You can see I just kind of do random doodles in here. And um, I think that it's a nice way to have a place to document those little studies if you need one. And last but not least, we have the etcher sketchbook. So my first etcher sketchbook was generously gifted to me by a member of my painting community. And I finally understood why she had raved about it so much. So this sketchbook is definitely the sketchbook. If you're looking to paint in a sketchbook and see watercolor effects come through really, really beautifully because this sketchbook is 100% cotton acid free paper. And it's really great because it lays flat and um, it has a really light texture to it so you can still really do some dry media you can do ink lines on it without it skipping too much and overall it's a lot like the pentallic in that sense where you can use ink lines and you can also do uh, washes on it but really the 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 biggest difference here with etcher is that the wet on wet watercolor painting and getting those effects and seeing the blooms and the bleeds and being able to do things um, as I would on a regular piece of paper that's 100% cotton, that's really what makes the biggest difference for me in this sketchbook. It has a really beautiful like cotton, tech, um, a cotton textile uh, covering on the book. It has an elastic band closure, so it stays closed. And um, it stays, you know, flatter than it would if you didn't have that and it also has an interior pocket here so it is also great for traveling if you want to store any um, small pieces of paper in there if you're taking this out i have two sizes i have the smaller one as well um, this is an a6 size and you um, can see kind of how i've used it for a little bit of plein air painting recently and I took this out with me to the beach I got sand on it it's still actually okay and I really I really do love these books um, for painting with watercolors there's a very very slight difference between the front and the backs of the pages but it really doesn't affect the performance so let me show you here's a front and here's a back and they really did behave similarly um, especially when I was doing skies which is where I can see the most difference so I really don't think there's a huge difference between the front and the back overall I like it for wet watercolor scenes ink and wash paintings and pencil and dry media so all of them work really well here I'm going to link a short flip through of a few pages Pages of my uh, of this sketchbook for you to see here if you want to take a look at it and if you asked me to pick just one sketchbook and that was the only one I could use then I would hands down pick the etcher sketchbook and while I may not be able to claim that it's the best one out there because maybe the best one is actually one that you make yourself with the papers that you like um, but I can definitely claim that of all the sketchbooks that are pre-made that you can purchase, this one is currently my favorite. The paper is the most versatile because it performs beautifully with watercolors, but it can also be used for mixed media. And it's also acid-free, which means that the paper will stand the test of time because it's you know 100% cotton and it's going to just behave uh, beautifully the way that you would see or hopefully see on a sheet of watercolor paper that's 100% cotton. And finally, from a purely aesthetic point of view, it's the prettiest because I really like the white cotton cover on it, even though it's probably going to get dirty over time. And that's it. I hope this video was informative and it helps you decide on your next sketchbook in case you're shopping around for one. If you have any sketchbook recommendations for me, leave them in the comments below. I'd love to know about them. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.